Hey everyone, this is Corey with Stafford's EDC, and today I'm going to be giving you my full review of the EMP EDC Ronin. This here is an interesting knife to say the least, and it's certainly not my cup of tea aesthetically. Uh, straight off the bat, there are some things on here that for me are just big no-go's on a knife for my personal taste, but this is part of pass around, so I'm happy to take a look at it and handle something I wouldn't normally handle under any other circumstances. Uh, I do have a little spec sheet here, so I am gonna go through this uh, just because I have it, so I figure it might as well. So, blade steel, we are looking at either LMAX, which you're seeing here, or there is gonna be a Dama steel option. I'm not sure if these are out. Um, I can't say I'm very familiar with uh, EMP's uh, drop procedure, drop times, uh, current lineup, however you want to, you know, say these things. I can't say I'm super familiar. So these might be out already or they might be pre-order or something like that. But you have LMAX or Damasteel, 3.35 inch blade, 4.3 inch handle, an overall length of 7.6 inches, blade stock, 3.5 millimeters. What is that, an Imperial? I don't know, but it's probably an eighth of an inch. Probably 0.125. You have a compound grind with a pretty thick flat grind up here at the tip and a pretty shallow hollow grind here uh, in this middle of the blade. About 50% of the overall blade width uh, for that hollow grind, which I'm glad they went hollow instead of flat all around. Uh, we'll talk about that shortly. For some reason, it decided to stop recording. So I just said, you know, we'll talk about how I feel with the grind shortly. You have a titanium handle here, milled texture here. It's a pretty nice texture. It's not very aggressive or anything, but it's in there. You know, it provides some meaningful grip. Weight is 3.6 ounces. The hardware is all titanium Torx with T8. Clips and collars are going to be made out of titanium as well. And the OEM on this guy is Best Tech. So, now that I have the pleasantries out of the way here, let's talk about my experience here with the EMP EDC Rodin. Ronin, I almost called it a Rodin. And I don't know why. Uh, yeah, let's talk about this. It has the signature fuller that he does on all of his knives. You know, that the fuller with the hole in it, I guess is the best way to describe the way that looks. You also have a front flipper here, which is, you know, also commonplace on his models, though no back flipper on this one. Uh, you certainly could have done it that way if, it, if this area right here would have just been straight and uh, not curved back down. It would stick up just slightly in the back and you'd be able to flick that, but he chose not to do that for this, uh, this model here. This, um, the detent on this is pretty good. You know, no complaints there. Ergos are fairly, fairly good. Uh, it gets a little thin in hand this way. I find that the pointer finger and middle finger areas are a touch on the skinny side. So choking up helps, but then it's skinny in the middle finger. So, you know, it's it's a little odd in my hand, but it feels pretty good. It's comfy. It just looks a little thin and it's very neutral. So tends to want to sit into this kind of saber grip. Hammer grip works fine, but it's not ideal choked up. There's just not a lot of ergos going on there. And the finger choil is not big enough to really move more meat of your finger down into. I got fat fingers, but you can see like I'm coming up on blade in there. That's yes, yeah, just not super comfy unless it's just up near the tip of your finger, which in that case in this kind of saber grip is perfectly fine. Uh, otherwise though, it's not great. Better to be back here and then it gets a little thin. So you have some little issues there. Uh, the texturing on the pocket clip matching the texturing of the uh, the milling that's on the knife is pretty cool. The lines don't line up exactly. And I don't know if you can tell there, but like they're just slightly offset. Like, if I turn it at the right angle, they might look okay, like right there. But even then still, they're not quite right. You gotta like really force the perspective here for them to line up correctly. And uh, overall, it just isn't exact. Uh, so that's a little nitpick. Uh, you do have a nice lanyard post in the back here if you decide to use that. I like that it's not a big hole in the knife. Uh, the front flipper works pretty good. Get nice leverage on that and the action's good as well. 
Uh, you know, Best Tech makes a good product, so I'm not surprised that the OEM work here is well done. Uh, it's certainly not you know, super drop shutty, but it does drop down to your nail with no issues. Just a couple shakes to get it shut. And yeah, I mean, in hand, in pocket, it's fine. It's, it's nothing amazing, but it's certainly not bad at all. Uh, the carry is fairly deep. There's a milled spot underneath this clip that follows along, and I can see that. You might be able to tell a little bit here that that is angled under there. It follows the line of this. Some places cut it off square like this, but instead this is cut off this way. So it sits a little deeper in the pocket with just the screws and the butt end sticking out. So not a deep carry, but certainly not uh, totally flat either. Uh, let's talk about the blade though, because that's what's important here. L-Max or Dama Steel, I have no problem with that choice. Good steel for regular use, Dama Steel if you want to look a little fancy. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about this blade. You have this killer swedge up here, which adds a really neat aesthetic. Uh, certainly not my taste, but it's nice to see that there. It's nice to see some thinning done on this blade. And the reason I mention that is because this is a thick hollow grind. It does not get very thin behind the edge. Um, it's it's very reminiscent of like a zero tolerance, which for those who are familiar with the ZT, they don't really do thin slicey grinds at all. So this hollow grind gets about as thin as like a ZT flat grind, which is not very thin at all. Uh, and because that hollow grind's so short and you come up to full thickness of the blade with just the swedge up here and then the hole, it's, uh, it tends to drag quite a bit through material. So I did not have a good time using this on a uh, cardboard. Anytime that I have a uh, Tanto style knife, I like this secondary tip here for doing uh, box opening, uh, cutting tape, things like that. That's always great. But the hollow grind on this in this flat area, especially with such a flat edge too, just isn't my jam. It's, it's not useful for me. It might be useful for some people, but I want thinner and slicier behind the edge. And I like a little bit of belly. This is entirely flat in both aspects of this edge here. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. And then you have a flat grind up the tip. This is substantially thicker than the hollow grind. And yeah, I mean, I get it. It's to strengthen the tip. I understand why they do this, but it's very chisel-esque, both in shape and in grind. This is great for scraping glue off of things, um, you know, chiseling out some wood. Uh, not that you'd want a bevel on both sides of your chisel, but you know what I mean. That's very much what this reminds me of. It looks like somebody fucked up a chisel. And that's not me trying to knock EMP EDC or anything like that. Some people are going to love this. I just don't like this blade shape. Personally, there's nothing wrong with the knife itself. Just my personal taste. And yeah, I mean, it's built to be heavier duty, thick at the tip. I get that. It's not something I ever have a need for. I would use a dedicated tool for those kinds of things. So for me, it's kind of whatever. But for some people, they're gonna absolutely love this thing. And I can't blame them because it's built well. Uh, I don't know the price point on these, but I imagine it's probably in the $300 range, uh, just judging off what like the nimbles are. So we'll call it 300 bucks. It could be a little more, it could be a little less. Uh, nevertheless, somebody's gonna like this. And I'm sure that a lot of you who see this will be a fan of this knife, uh, which can't believe, you know, I wouldn't expect you to watch this video if you weren't interested in this. Uh, but yeah, that's my thoughts on it. I mean, it's fine. It's just not for me. Somebody will love it. I'm just not that somebody. And uh, it is what it is with that, I guess. So thank you guys for listening to me ramble on here and give my opinion on the EMP EDC Ronin. And with that, that's everything for me today. So thanks so much and have a great rest of your day. Take care.